Hello, I'm Mignon Grayson and welcome to Sacred Mysteries Worldwide. I wanted to talk about a particular topic today and the topic is called initiation. Initiation is something in the spiritual communi community. The word is being tossed around uh, and being associated with um, a lot of different people's work. And folks are actually naming their offerings initiation. And as someone who's walked a spiritual path for over 35 years and have has I've been through a couple of initiations, I kind of take issue with that word being used so lightly. An initiation is based on hundreds and thousands of years worth of spiritual culture and tradition. It's a process by which a person goes through a series of tests, trials, and other different scenarios that actually rebirth them into a new awareness of themselves and their life in general. They emerge out of an initiation in a new frame of mind, in a new energy field, and it is a rebirthing. Now, this is not like born again. That's something totally different. This is act an actual rebirthing of yourself into the next level of who you are as a spiritual person walking on this earth. And it brings you into um, a deeper and more um, stronger connection to that purpose. Initiations cannot be done through a book. Reading a book, the book has a title, blah, blah, initiation. You can't be initiated through a book, through reading a book. You cannot be initiated online. You cannot be initiated um, remotely in any way, shape, or form. By mail, uh, all of that is just made up by other people who want to make money or who don't know any better. An initiation needs to be done in person. And it needs to happen with those elders of the tradition through which the initiation is taking place. So those are the people who have actually also been through the initiation or are assisting in the initiation. or And that these people have many, many years and they actually can officiate and take this person from where they are into that next level. There's a series of stripping away of certain things that are no longer uh, serving you. There are certain periods of, of steps that I can't even really talk about, but that you go through in order to reach that next level. An initiation also never takes place in just a day. An initiation takes place over several days. It could be a couple of weeks. It could even be a month. It really depends on the tradition. But an initiation is, a, an, is and when I say it takes place, it actually the, the person who's being initiated uh, shows up and then it happens. But prior to that, there is a lot of preparation that goes into an initiation. It has um, those who are the elders, the priests, the people who are presiding over and assisting in the initiation. There's a lot of different, uh, they are preparing, they're preparing things for the initiation. They're doing certain things that need to happen in order to make sure the energy of the initiation is right. Um, they are also divining to uh, communicate with all of the spirits that are involved in the initiation to ensure that everything is in alignment and that the spirits have what they need in order to ensure that the uh, that when the initiation happens that they are in full full force energy in order to carry this initiate through the initiation and for the initiate to receive the different powers and energies from these um uh, I like to call them, people call them deities. They're Orisha, Neteru, Abosum, um, Lwa, depending on the tradition that you come from. Uh, these are powerful, powerful forces. Uh, also, your ancestors are um, 
propitiated and they are appeased and they are, if there's an investigation that makes sure that uh, they have what they need to support the initiation. So initiation happens on so many different levels that um, it's not just one thing it's, or it's not just, you know, reading a book or showing up and, you know, saying some prayers and singing some songs and doing some dances and uh, crying some tears and smiling and then eating some food and then the initiation is over. Um, it's much deeper than that. Now that is, you could call that what I just named, you could call that like a retreat. And a retreat has things that it actually, you know, helps the person do and, and, and you have breakthroughs and all that at retreats and that's fine and well and then there's nothing to take away from that. But when you label something an initiation, it is something that is very, very serious and it needs to be held in the high regard in in what it is. Uh, people are just really taking a lot of things from ancient traditions and stripping away and, and you know and, and, and giving the um I don't, what do I want to say? There's a word I want to say. Um, the buzzwords, you know. Yeah, initiate. High priest. Priest. Um, what else? Goddess. God. You know, all these, you know, these, um, these flashy words to make it seem like it's more than it is. And it really, um, it really undercuts what an initiation is about. People um, who go through initiations, it, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of your time. It takes a lot of your energy. And it is a, a dedication and a devotion. And you go into it knowing that you are aligning yourself with different energies and spirits in order to do a particular work. So be aware, if you've never been through an initiation, be aware that it can't be done online. It can't be done through a book. It can't be done remotely. It can't be done in the mail. Um, and it definitely can't be done in one day. <laughs> so those are all the alerts. So if somebody says, oh, I have an initiation program and you can, you know, you know, come get my materials and read it and, you know, do these things in your house and then you're initiated. No. It, that's just not the way it is. And that's not to take away from a system that can help you. But what I have a problem with is when people take the buzzwords and add them onto their system and to make them seem like more than what they are. And um, people feel like they're getting something that they're not. So, uh, and, you, and the other thing is you can't self-initiate. An initiation needs to be done by someone on your, you know, be officiated by someone on your behalf, someone has to take you through the initiation, one or two or three or more people. It's a whole community involvement that takes you through this initiation. Um, just like you can't birth yourself into the world. You need your mother, your father, in order to come together, in order to create you and birth you into, a wor into the world. An initiation is a birthing and a view of a new, higher version of yourself. So you can't do it yourself. So anybody that says, oh, I'm self-initiated. Well, you know, you might have activated some, you know, different chakras and different things and all that. And that's fine and well, but you are not initiated. And you do not have the authority to initiate others. And you can get mad at me if you want to. It's it's A-OK -okay and it's all right. But I just wanted to dispel some myths because a lot of people are out here. They want their spiritual development. They want to move further. And the folks who are um, perpetuating these untruths are misleading folks. Um, it's a feel good for a moment, but it's not going to take you but so far. It can help you to some degree if the information is legit and it's and it's nurturing and it's helpful. Great. But if you really want to be initiated, then that takes a whole other type of dedication. And, and it's not just one or two people. It is a community that is also involved in the knowledge and the wisdom of the system that comes from the ancient tradition that has developed this initiation system um, and codes and uh, knowledge to um, they uphold this, they hold on and they pass it down. And you being initiated, 
you then are the holder of this wisdom and knowledge as you continue to learn and you will eventually pass it on once you've been initiated then you'll understand it um if if you don't understand it from what i'm telling you but it just was like a pet peeve of mine because i've been uh, witnessing in different uh, areas of the spiritual community online especially that people are just saying and giving and putting the label of initiation on something but that doesn't make it an initiation so do your due diligence know what you're getting into understand that the initiation comes from a tradition that has been developed over time it cannot be something that's piecemeal from different places and then it's an initiation no that's just a system of a retreat or a system of you know going through different things to help you develop but initiation is a whole lot more deeper and so many different things happen um and it aligns you with so many different spirits and um that go back thousands and thousands and thousands of years so uh, i trust and believe that it's worth it if there's something that you really want to do you want to be initiated as a priest or a priestess uh, in a particular ancient system, then you you know there are steps that you go through through doing that, and it's a world of wonder. It's glorious. It's beautiful. Um, I've been initiated into one particular system myself, and I've had um, certain what they call smaller initiations that I've been involved in um, in the Orisha tradition as well. So it's um, it's a beautiful thing. And so let's not minimize it and strip it away to and, and um, commercialize it to a point where it is a misleading to those who are really seeking a particular path. So I just wanted to say that um, I'm going to get off my soapbox about it right now. But if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you um, want to know more uh, information, you can reach out to me via my social media. But um, until then, you know, blessings on your journey and um, be well. If you liked um, my message today, <laughs> might have pissed some people off, but if you like my message today, just please like and share. Um, give me a comment, subscribe. All right, until then, peace.